I almost got in a crazy fight out here, okay? The men out here are crazy. I'm going to tell you about this guy I went on a date with who was a complete psychopath, and I didn't know it, okay? And this is the first time where I was like, you know what? UK may not be for me. So I met this guy on a dating app because, of course, <laughs> we're all on dating apps. And uh, when I came to, I met him like in the U, like I have my dating apps put to UK so that when I come out here, you know, I can line them up. You know, not to be funny, but sometimes you got to line it up, right? Like, okay, I don't believe it. It's hard to really meet people in real life sometimes. So um, I met him on a dating app, and he was like a really nice guy. He was an older guy, real nice, you know? Like, I was staying in Croydon at the time, and I think he lived, like, um, somewhere in West. So he would send, like, a cab for me, you know, which would be an hour. He came and he brought me flowers, you know, taking me on nice dates. I was like, oh, my God, this guy is so nice. He even, like, the, like, um, the next day after we hung out, the first time we hung out, he went and uh, paid for me to get, like, a massage, a facial, nails done. I was like, oh, my God, I know my husband got to be in the U.K. Y'all know how to treat women. Honey, <sighs> I should have known this man was a psychopath. So I'm not saying he's Nigerian, but he's Nigerian. Um, so, you know, we went to the club, right? So I guess like sometimes the Nigerian men out here are like, in New York, we have a, a whole bunch of like Africans, right? From ev like, everywhere, 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 everywhere. Here though, it's like y'all are directly from like Nigeria. So in New York, maybe it'll be a second, third generation, fourth generation here, it's like, one generation so they're a little bit more Nigerian and their their values are a little bit more on that level yeah. so I guess a lot of times especially older Nigerian men they they don't mind spending on you but you better sit down and shut up and I don't know if you can't tell I'm not a sit down and shut up type of girl you yeah. know what I'm saying like I let stuff slide but I ain't gonna just shut up so I think it was like maybe our third date and maybe we was out all day. We went to the club to go drink or something like that. And I remember like some girls like like we was in the club drinking, having a good time. And he's one of those. Oh, let me buy everybody drinks. And I remember we was like leaving the, to go. And then the two girls was in the back of the car. And I'm like, well, what, what the hell are they doing here? So that was the first argument. Right. And the first argument got kind of heated. So I should have known something might be wrong with this man. But you know what? It didn't deter me. Because I was like, you know what, this is a nice man. Ladies, red flags. The minute you see a red flag, get out. No matter how nice that man is, get the hell out. I ain't get out in time though, right? So now we're going on a fourth date. Did we argue after this fourth date? I'm pretty sure by the fourth date, I didn't even argue no more. I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to say nothing. I'm a Leo. I just did one of these. I just go quiet. I'm not going to argue with you. Argue with your mother. I'm not going to argue with you. Fourth date, right? Date number five, I had switched Airbnbs, right? So I was in a new area, new Airbnb. I'm like, I was by the Excel Center. And I'm like, okay, let me go exploring. And I go to this little bar over there. Man, it's such a cute little bar. It was like a cheers bar. Everybody knows everybody. These people are all getting along. It looked like you was in like, you have a, well, it might be too young for y'all, but um, Love Island, like uh, the old show. You know, like the guy had on a flower shirt. He was old with the gray hair that went back. I was like, this is some old shit and I like it. I'm in there having the time of my life. Yeah. The bartender's like, go talk to that white guy over there. He's a millionaire. I said, say less. So I was over there talking with the white guy for, you know, quite a long time. I yeah. think I arrived at 3 p.m. I may have been there until like 9, 10 p.m. still drinking yeah. and carrying on. You know, mind you, there's no food here. So this white guy's just buying me bottles of red wine and I'm just gobbling it down like, yeah, tell me more. What? You go to Barbados for a month. I can come. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm having a good damn time. Then the psychopath texts me like, oh, well, where are you at? Can I come see you? And I was like, oh. Again, red flag, this was my mistake because I forgot that the male ego is very dangerous. So I'm like, all right, cool, yeah, you can meet me at this little bar or whatever. So he comes over there, and I guess he sees me, you know, talking to the white guy because this man done bought me about three or four bottles of wine, and I could drink. I'm a bartender. I could drink. So his, you know, male provider is now setting in, and he's, oh, send them a bottle over there. So now him and the white guy start playing the pissing match. I'm going to send you shots. You're going to send shots over here. I'm just drinking like this. Hey, more shots for me. I don't care. Yeah. So now everybody's nice, drunk, liquored up. I've probably been drinking for about seven or eight hours straight. I think I had a bag of chips in this whole time. I am a trooper. That's all I'm going to say. 
All I know is this other Nigerian guy who walks in a room with his girl and they start talking about how a woman is supposed to act. Okay. Basically, you know, so the guy who I was with was like, listen, if you're going to be my woman, you basically got to sit down, shut up. That's it. You're the best. Sit down, shut up. That's it. Right. The other Nigerian guy is like, nah, women still could have rights or whatever like that. So my guy says something that was just so offensive towards women, like, you know, women are no good for nothing, something, something, something. So the white guy stands up and he's like, why don't you shut up already? <sighs> so now he gets up. Now he gets up and he's like, what did you say to me? The guy who I was with is about 6'4", the white guy is about 6'5", and they're both husky, you know, oh, wow. big, like big boys, not fat but like built like yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. So now they start arguing. Now I'm embarrassed because I'm like, I'm in this white spot trying to get this millionaire money and you gonna bring your coon ass in here acting up. <laughs> oh, so now I'm just upset because I'm like, what the hell is going on? So now I'm trying to calm him down. I'm like, we need to just leave because you cannot fight right now. Yeah. Everybody's holding them back. Now we get, this story is long. Let me hurry with the story. So now we get into the car, right? We get into the car. He's cursing me out. I'm hungry. I'm like, yo, bro, just pull up anywhere. It's like 10 o'clock, 11, nothing's open. I'm like, yo, just take me to McDonald's if you have to. I just need some food in my system. Yeah. So we're on our way to McDonald's. He's cursing me out. Oh, you're treacherous. You're this. It's only because of you. He thought he could talk to me like that. If he wasn't in his face, he would know Nigerians are king, blah, 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 all this other stuff. So he's cursing me out and I'm eating the french fries and I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> so after 20 minutes of being belittled, finally I said, well, can I step in and say something? He's like, what do you want? And all I said was, can you please stop being the angry black man when we get in the room? Because every time we get in the room, you arguing with somebody. Okay. We in the club, you argue, you always arguing with somebody, like yeah. stop. I didn't even say, all I said was, please stop being the angry black man when you enter the room. I swear to God, the car said, Ur! And I was like, well, where the fuck are we at? He's like, get out the car. And I'm like, I'm trying to call an Uber now because I'm like, oh, Lord, whatever. Because at first I wasn't going to go nowhere. At first I was going to be like, no, nigga, you taking me home. I'm not getting out the car. But I said, you know what? There's a little twinkle of demon in his eye. Let me just call my Uber. So I'm trying to call my Uber. He snatches open the door, yanks me out the car, okay? And I'm like, oh, this nigga means beef. So I'm really in my phone trying to call an Uber. He snatches my phone and cuts my finger, right? So my whole finger is cut open now and it's bleeding. I'm like, oh my God. He mushes me in the head. He's like, I will knock you out out here. And I'm like, what is your problem? Like, cause I don't know what's going on. This is like my second time in London. So I'm like, I don't know what the hell is happening. I'm like, how did this nice man turn into this demon? And so there was like some guy sitting in the car and he walks over to the guy in the car. He's like, you need to tell her how Nigerians are kings out here. That guy nicely put that window up like, Arr! and I was like, Lord, I'm about to die out here tonight. And by the grace of God, this older black lady came out of nowhere and she just hugged me and scooped me up. And she was like, come, come over here. This man is a psychopath. Come out the way. And literally like, I'm like, okay, let me just see if I can get my phone. He took my phone because he had some, when he snatched my phone, he put it in his back pocket. He took my phone threw it halfway across the thing. Luckily, it didn't break. You know, it cracked a little, but it didn't break. Threw it like all the way across the thing, got in his car and like zoomed off so fast, like where he almost tried to hit me. And like the lady like literally was pulling me out the way. And I was like, what the, f like what the hell just happened here? Like what? This is when I knew niggas is crazy out here. Like y'all will hit women back. The men out here will hit women back. In New York, like, you can't really hit a woman. And if you hit a woman, you will be handled. Like, you, everybody knows, like, even if I'm your girl and I, like, slap you, you can't slap me back. Now, if I two-piece you, I might want to fight. But if I slap you, you got to let me get that off. Here, men be like, yo, if you slap me, I'm fighting you like a man. Say less. <laughs> I ain't never gonna smack nobody out here. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, yeah, that's one of my UK dating. So men are crazy out here. They they good looking, honey, but they're crazy. <laughs>